Peregrine Falcon just swooped in on my birds. Yep, see there's one of my birds right by it. All right guys, look at this. You guys remember this bird that broke his wing really badly? This is not my bird, but it's been in this tiny little crate for a month while its wing completely healed. I'm ready to take the splint off, but check this out. This little guy is in love with me. Yup. When he hears me come downstairs, he starts cooing and he starts bobbing his head up and down. And I'll come in and bob my head up and down too. Like we're a nice mated pair. And I'll coo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at him bobbing his head up and down. That's pretty cute. Oh, yep, there he goes. Strutting. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, he's getting ready to mate. I hate to disappoint you, little guy. I don't think this is going to work out. One, I'm married. Two, I'm human. Oh, and I'm a dude. Man, three reasons why it's not going to work out. That's pretty cute, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to take that brace off of his arm. I don't think this bird's ever going to fly again. I mean, you can already tell it's not going to ever fly again. But it can flap, and before it couldn't flap. Is he just hot? No, he's stretching. It's like, oh, this feels good to stretch. Before it couldn't stretch because of its broken leg, but I guess it's doing better because now I can. Yep, oh. exactly. Sounds oh, good about it. Yeah, but he can't fly. I know, but at least huh? he's alive. Yeah, I know. Here comes my dad. Get the pigeon and take his bandaid off. Well, it's not his pigeon. It's on Elton's. I don't really know who it is. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, just as a reminder, his break. His break was really bad. It yeah. was on his humerus. And it was in two places. So it was broke clean in half in two places. So I did my best to line them up. I put a brace on there. It's been on there for an age. Yeah. For a month and a half, actually, which is much longer than need be. Is that long, right? That's a long time, yes. So we're gonna remove this. Let's see what we got. Yeah. We're definitely not going to break these pumpkins. Like, this one beautiful. Like that beautiful pumpkin? I like this one. My video is getting hijacked. This one? Dude. This is not a pumpkin. This one? YouTube channel. This one. Alright, as I was saying. We're going to go ahead and remove this. Yeah, of course we are. Of course we are. Right? What else would we do? Of course we're going to remove it. I've almost got it free. Oh, you're cute. You're cute playing with my hoodie and the scissors. Look at you. Look at you. Cute bird. Look at you. Part of 
it. There's another part of it. There you go. It's like, oh man, I haven't been able to scratch in there for a month. So again, this was a rescued pigeon. My friend messaged me and said, hey, I found this pigeon at the school that I teach at. And it looks like it's injured. And sure enough, it had a super bad break. Its break was right here on its humerus, and it was a double break, clean through right there and right there. As I was feeling along the length of the bone, I could totally feel that extra little piece. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna have to put this bird down. Um, so I did my best to brace it, and uh, we got it taken care of. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to touch on one thing. I'm going to vent a tiny bit. Um, as racing pigeon breeders, we need to be responsible for the birds that we breed. And when they get lost in a race, uh, if someone calls us or tries to reach out and say, hey, I found your bird, um, or I found a bird, maybe it's not even your bird, as pigeon racers, as part of that community, we need to step up and do all we can to um, take care of these birds that get lost. And when it's our own bird, we gotta be willing to um, be responsible for it. And sometimes that means driving 50 miles. Sometimes it means, um, you know, doing something that's not convenient for us, but we gotta be responsible, guys. I looked up the band information for this bird, um, reached out to the club secretary messaged that person multiple times, called them, left a message. Finally, that guy called back, but I was in a meeting. I immediately called him back, left lots of messages, continued trying, and the guy never called back. Um, that's really unfortunate. We can do better, guys. We've got to do better. Right? Here's RB, named by Abby. Feels good to have that free, right? And you can flap your wing now. You're never gonna take to the sky, and I'm sorry about that. But you're alive. So that's something, right? <laughs> good bird. All right, you guys remember this bird. This is the bird that broke its wing. Right on the wrist. Right there. Well, guess what? She can fly. That's pretty cool, huh? One success story of a bird that had its wing broken. We bound it up and she can totally fly again. She's not gonna be worth anything as a racer, but she'll be a great breeder. Lone Star and Athena. Awesome little bird. Beautiful little hen. Really happy. When I'm feeling her, she's just trembling. I can feel it. But I'm happy that we saved this one. She's a beauty. Band number 43. There she is. Broken wing and all, but healed now. There she goes. We need this place cleaned up. Peregrine Falcon just swooped in on my birds. I've never seen a Peregrine Falcon here before. Where did he go? There's one of my birds. Wow. Never seen a Peregrine Falcon come in. Didn't get any. There's some of my birds way out there. Where is that dude? He's gonna be around here. There he is. Wow. I've never seen a peregrine falcon here before. Now I am a birder. <laughs> so I do like birds. That is cool.
Peregrine Falcon. Peregrine Falcon is going to try and gain height because that's really the only advantage that it has on racing pigeons. If it can get up above them and swoop down below, that's the only way. Oh, it just tried to catch one of my birds. Did you guys see that? I don't know if you saw it, it was behind the trees. Yep, see there's one of my birds right by it. You know, I've got that bird that had the broken wing out too. Wonder how it's doing. Wow, that surprises me. I've seen lots of Cooper's hawks. We get a lot of red-shouldered hawks. I've never seen a peregrine. Oh, looks like it might be taken off. Look at these ones. A little bit scared, aren't you? Rightly so. And that's my broken wing bird up there in the pied. So that's good. That probably would have been the one that got picked off. Birds loving their bath time. Nice evening bath. I need to get a bigger pan. <laughs> Oh, they're loving it. Birds are back, and I do not have any casualties, so that's fantastic. Wonderful. Good birds. This is the first time I left both sides out at the same time. There's actually a few extra on this side right now. As you can see, a little bit lopsided here. We'll get them sorted out. Because actually I'm separating them right now. It's the old bird season. That was pretty cool to see that peregrine falcon. I actually love falcons. I think they're super cool birds. So even though it's a risk, and I definitely don't want my birds to get preyed upon or snatched up by one, it's always cool to see one. Good birds. Okay, so the one with the broken wing is a full sibling to a lift right there. That one is available. Transfer, I think she'll make a great breeder. Again, out of Athena. A macaroni bird, bred by Jones Family Loft. And another bird that is also actually a Jones Family Loft bird. Out of their foundation, Cock Superstar. That bloodline. Should be good. Athena was a 300 mile winner. And then as a young bird, and then was also what was it like 13th on the 300 again as a young bird so she raced really well 